Ah, Noblestead, the town where every day is yesterday. Yes, some may say that theirs is a community stuck in the past. But one man's dark ages is another man's time-honored tradition. And what are traditions, if not things we're still doing? Oh, it really makes you think. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. reminded to have the time of their lives. Welcome to Two Point Radio. This is Harrison Wolf, and I will be your host of this little Sonic get together. This is the party within the party. The sandwich in the lunchbox. The thing in the thing. I'll think of some words, and we'll be right back. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. Remember?
students are reminded to be in two places at once. Today, local film star Roderick Cushion is in a spot of bother after he was photographed throwing a bagel at some photographers. It's pretty bad luck that those freelance photographers were in his bathroom at the exact moment he decided to start flinging bagels. I mean, what are the chances? questions. No, I've not seen your frog.
I've lived in Two Point County for more years than I can remember, but every now and then I still hear an expression for the first time. This morning, I bumped into Ricky Hawthorne, and after a nice chat, he says, Time to see a man about a dolphin. I have no idea what it could mean. Don't tell me, though. That man's an enigma, and I choose to keep him that way. Staff are reminded to be inspirational. New to the Cromley student range, Chicken Stompers. Take the smoothest natural chicken matter from Cromley Farm's boneless chickens. Add our secret seasoning and a touch of traditional stabilizing agent and stamp. You've got Crumley's Chicken Stompers. Breaded for palatability. They really could be anything. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me.
doctor. Return to the hospital. Thank you. It's too late to start trying. Harrison Wolf talking the days away on Two Point Radio. We got a lot more radical radio for you today. There will be music, there will be speaking, and if we're lucky, we'll have some county shaking news that'll make us see life differently forever. But first, I gotta find my pencil. Wish me luck. will make you look stupid.
I had a pretty sweet segment lined up for you, but my producer is waving his arms at me through the glass. Yep, waving back hasn't seemed to help much. I'll see what he has to say while you listen to my new favorite song. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. Intruders on campus, oh no. CB, it didn't happen. Not to me. Sorry about that confusion. It was nothing serious. My producer just had certain opinions about the content I had planned. I like being censored as much as the next guy, but little did they know. They can't stop me thinking about it. The brain is the last refuge to the so-called undesirable thought. It's a party up there, and boy, is it a fun one. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. Thank you. 
students are reminded that this is the fun part. Intruders on campus, oh no. That's it for today's show. I don't know if it's been a classic, but who am I to say? These things need to marinate in the passing of time. Only then will we know if today was a classic day. Who knows? Maybe what I'm saying right now is making or breaking the show. Have I just ruined it? What about now? Trippy. I'll be back for more radio in the future. Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. is not a belief system.
Ice tea gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. Announcement. The canvas just got bigger, not necessarily better. Students should check in before trying to learn. The timetable is now live. you're just getting up or just getting in, it's sure to be difficult. I'm Felicity Bellbottoms and you're listening to Campus Radio, where we try and make whatever you're doing a little bit easier and a little bit noisier. The more you revise, the longer you've been revising. <laughs> Unauthorized talking on campus. Thank you. Protests continued to rage in the music college at Mitten today. Asked for their thoughts, feelings or demands, one student had this to say. I don't know really. Someone told me we're waiting to see an enormous bassoon. Is that not right? More on that curious bassoon later in the show. Frequently asked 
questions. No, you can't have an extension. It's time for a review of the most popular cartoon on campus. Yes, that's right, the Bureaucats. This week, I'm reviewing the Bureaucats. Yesterday, Mittens, the cat, found an outrageously obscure bylaw just in time to delay a civil case another 10 weeks now. I don't understand the justice system at all, but I do understand drama, and those cats have it. Five cat paws out of a possible five. There's a fly in here.
Tuition fees are expensive and education is priceless. Intruders on campus, you know what to do. At Milk Maid, we use real dairy style ingredients in our milkshakes for a level of consistency that just isn't natural. Meaning that every glass of milk made is eerily similar to the last. Wow! Mmm, milk made. Now that's good milk. <coughs> Not technically milk. Hitting the marks doesn't mean what you think it means. Remarkably, we actually have a follow-up on the story of the enormous bassoon. It seems as though the crowd have got their hands on an inflatable and, indeed, enormous bassoon. I'm a little lost for words, if I'm perfectly honest with you listeners. Was this planned all along, or was it sourced after our segment aired? Just so many questions. They'll have to wait, I suppose. Until next time, I've been Felicity Bellbottoms, speechless on Campus Radio. Skills are non-transferable.
We've just completed a research project. Well done. Intruders on campus, oh no. Students are asked not to ask questions. Results published. Now. The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? and Wolf on Two Point Radio. It's Harrison Wolf going to the county sock draw on Two Point Radio. I just had a very big sleep. So it's going to be a lively one.
Students should check in before trying to learn. questions. No, I will not be your friend. without a teacher. That's a class without a teacher. Live music is like fresh fruit and vegetables, man. It's better than the stuff in a can, and when the opportunity presents itself, you gotta cram as much of it in you as possible. That's just sensible, healthy living. You can't have too much of a good thing. That's why they call it a good thing. When I was young, I used to stand right next to the speakers and drink it in until I couldn't hear a thing. That's how I knew I was full. Intruders, please not come in.
Research project complete. Aren't you clever? Did you see those student protests at Mitten University the other day? It's all a little peaceful for my liking. Sure, I can respect the vibe, but sometimes you gotta ruffle some feathers. When I was at school, they took away mashed potato Tuesdays, so a few of us got into the school mascot's coop, and boy, did we ruffle that chicken. It was all friendly, of course, but they knew we meant business. Just some food for thought, my student comrades. Go get your mashed potatoes. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. How do you follow up the best-selling album in Two Point County history with even more music? Even more. Jasmine Odyssey presents Even More. We've just completed a research project. Well done.
announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. going you're listening to two point radio the most popular station in the greater two point county area nice we're serving more great radio with a side of insidious advertising right. <laughs> just completed a research project. Well done.
As longtime listeners will know, I have a wide range of hobbies and interests, but jogging isn't one of them. I mean, think about it. Going around and around a track or a park in an endless, exhausting loop to feel satisfaction? If you ask me, it's just another trick that big business uses to train our brains into total subordination. I'm sitting down, man. There's no moving me. Campus intruders, please not come in. Asked questions. No, I will not be your friend. Bongo gets a lot of praise in the press. I just don't think it's healthy for something, anything to get talked about in such a positive light. It makes my eyebrows uncomfortable. Sure, they've been responsible for a lot of so-called technological advances, and some of you might love your automatic toilet paper dispensers, but I was doing just fine on the toilet. Thank you very much. Plants need water, remember? Oh, 
intruders on campus, oh no. I am out of here. I hope you all have a righteous rest of your day and that the constant fear of alien abduction, natural disaster, and revolutionary upheaval doesn't stop you from having a fine and restful evening. Hopefully there's a next time. Staff are reminded to be inspirational. Here 
is approaching. It's too late to start trying. Results have been released. Luck won't help you now. Listening to Campus Radio. I'm Maggie Watmore, and I just learned what this button does. I'm not sure when I would use it, but I suppose it's good to know. One more time. Excellent. Frequently asked questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on.
Distracted students should pretend that they're listening. Research project complete. Aren't you clever? I can't read what this next segment is about because I've lost my glasses. But I am told that that's quite ironic. So, yeah, here's Hugh. Yes, it's not quite business as usual here at Duckworth Campus Food Court, where one of the servers has lost a contact lens. Unfortunately, they do believe the lens was lost during the preparation of a particularly big lasagna. They're asking every student to check their portion before they chew. But as of yet, no sight of the missing lens. Intruders on campus. You know what to do.
Students are reminded that some grades are personal. Here's Wanda, who'll be telling us the coolest way to get around the county. Yes, the bus is the new hot way to travel. Have you been on the bus? Oh, it's amazing. They're like huge cars. I am obsessed. And you don't have to drive. You can look at the scenery, check your phone, you know, all the fun stuff you usually do while driving. But this way, it's much more safe. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. is priceless. Get some gubbiny grub in your gob with cheesy gubbins. The essence of cheese. Ch -ch 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 cheesy gubbins. 
You know you want to. Hard work may or may not pay off. It's almost the end of the academic year, in case you hadn't noticed. That's all from us today at Campus Radio. As expected, there wasn't really a good opportunity to use that button during the show, so before we leave, I thought we'd have one more go. There you have it. The timetable is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. Students should check in before trying to learn.
we're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. just completed a research project. Well done. Sir Nigel Bickleworth. Cheers, cheers. On Two Point Radio, forget what you are doing and give in to the saccharine melodies of my voice. I am Sir Nigel Bickleworth, and you may not know it, but you've just made a wonderful decision. The finest radio show in town, coming right up. <laughs> Campus intruders, please not come in. are reminded that this is the fun part.
congratulations. Research project complete. Education is non-refundable. This week on Sir Nigel Reviews, we'll be talking about a modern beat combo, a group that call themselves the Helium Baboons. I must admit, while it may not be my usual cup of beef tea, for contemporary mindlessness, and that's what this is, it was not as bad as most of today's dirge and drivel. Billion baboons, not as bad as I feared they would be. Two shrugs out of a possible five. Intruders on campus, you know what to do. It's time for Spill the Tea, where we take some finely dried hearsay from our shameless county and strain it for all the precious nectar we can. Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge is under scrutiny for describing Two Points youth as ambitionless nitwits, and I can see why. I can only hope that it's an abridged form of the full quotation. It would be remiss of him to forget that they are also loud, foolhardy, Tress, smelly, and generally hopeless. Students 
students are reminded that you came here on purpose. would be a convenient time for construction. The academic year is now over. The end of year results have been released. Luck won't help you now. New to the Cromley student range, instant casserole. You want a warming meal, but you've not got all day. Come on! With Cromley's new instant casserole range, you just add water, and you've got something a lot like casserole. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses.
minded to find themselves. There's a fly in here. And now, for the results of last week's sonnet writing competition. I must say, I was appalled, if not surprised. They were lacking structure, they were lacking soul. Some of you wouldn't know an I am from a dactyl. We'll be rolling the competition on to next week, so send in your sonnets. They can't get any worse. Intruders on campus, you know what to do.
My respect for those that choose chivalric and knightly pursuits. Well, it's really very large. The Bickleworths, after all, come from a rich and prestigious line of people on and near horses. That being said, feudal aristocracy use their hands far too much for my liking. The swordsmanship, the adventuring. Have you ever held a lance? It's a chore. If you're so important, why are you doing all that work? Rule smarter, not harder. If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. that Agatha Sphere and the Orb Foundation are targeting the county's colleges in an attempt to appeal to a younger demographic. Those orb-happy loons must be subdued at all cost. But wasting their time trying to brainwash our brainless students seems like a terrific diversion. I'm so glad we found a use for our horde of unwashed undergraduates. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt.
asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. And now for the segment we call Agony Answers. You provide the agony and I'll provide the answers. This week's problem is from Helpless in Hogsport. I'm stuck in my bathroom. I think the doorknob fell off. What should I do? Well, I'd start by contacting someone under less anonymous circumstances. Perhaps a friend or the local authorities. Best of luck and so on. Janitor to maintain lector. Thank you. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. Students are reminded to be in two places at once. 